My brother's R32 GTR has been broken for a year and a half. In part 14, I found out his wheels that were absolutely destroyed actually are rare wheels and cost almost $3,000. So I fixed all the curb rash and I repolished the wheels to make them look brand spanking new, even though it was my first time. And perfect timing because the new parts I got him just came in. I got him new rotors and brake pads that are track rated. I found out that the previous owner already upgraded the brakes to the V-Spec Brembos. Now to take off the caliper by removing the sliding pins, the mounting clip, the locking bolts, and the brake pads, I used the button bungee cord to hang the caliper off to the side while I take off the rotor. I used brake cleaner and a microfiber towel to clean off the oil on the new rotors. Not only are they drilled and slotted, but they also have markers on the side that change colors based on its temperature. I picked up both the rotors and brake pads from Njuka Racing. After reinstalling the caliper and torquing down the locking bolts, it's time to put in the new pads. I reused the brake shims and applied the anti-school brake grease onto where the piston makes contact. The new parts look amazing and I love how the rotors match the wheels. Now for some finishing touches and to test drive the car, so stay tuned for part 16.